सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास थ्री एन टाइटल्ड मैथ मैजिक थ्री चैप्टर फाइव शेप्स एंड डिजाइन्स पार्ट टू पेज सिक्सटी थ्री एजेस एंड कॉर्नर्स Meeta and her five friends were playing a game. Tinku was blindfolded and asked to keep clapping as long as he wished while the others would move round a table. The moment Tinku stopped clapping everybody would stop where they were. The child who was not at a corner would be out. Then she or he would be blindfolded. Picture below shows six children three boys Raja Tinku and Bunty and three girls Chotu Guddu and Meeta standing around a big table Tinku is blindfolded and is standing at right side at a distance from the table Bunty is standing at right top corner Meeta is standing at bottom right corner Raja is standing at left bottom corner and Chotu is standing at top left corner. Guddu is standing in between Chotu and Bunty. Now answer the following questions. Question A. Look at the picture given above. Can you tell who is out? Question B. Where is Guddu standing? Question C. Can the game be played around a round table? Why? Many things around us have straight edges. For example, book, chair and kite. The picture below shows book in standing position with edge written on the top and right side of the book. Next to the book, there is a chair with edge written at right front leg. and right side of the chair's back beside the chair there is a kite with edge written on its top and bottom right sides page 64 other things have curved edges for example picture below shows a cartwheel and a plane with raised sides word edge is written on the right side of the cartwheel and plate question a look around you and identify things with straight and curved edges question b do the things with straight edges have corners question c do the things with curved edges have corners question d try to find things which have both straight and curved edges activity time step 1 take a rectangular sheet of paper step 2 count its corners step 3 now fold one of its corners picture at right side shows a rectangular paper with top left corner folded question a how many corners does it have now Question B: How many corners will you get by folding? Part one: Two corners. Part two: Three corners. Part three: Four corners. Question C: Can you fold this paper in such a way that it has only three corners? You are allowed only two folds. What shape will you get? Step 4 Repeat the activity with a square sheet of paper Page 65 Instruction 5 Can you fold all the corners of the square sheet in such a way that the number of corners remain unchanged Question A Look at the following table and tick the names of things that have corners Also count the numbers of edges and corners in each of them below this there is a table with four columns and five rows 
Each column has a heading and in the first column name of thing is written in each row. First column is name of thing. Of the second column is whether it has corners. Of the third column is number of edges. Of the fourth column is number of corners. Row 1, column 1, the word die is written and a small picture of die is shown. Column 2, yes. Column 3, dash. Column 4, number 8 is written. Row 2, column 1, the word ball is written. Column 2, dash. Column 3, dash. Column 4, dash. Row 3, column 1, the word eraser is written. Column 2, dash. Column 3, dash. Column 4, dash. Row 4, column 1, the word egg is written. Column 2, dash. Column 3, dash. Column 4, dash. Row 5, column 1, the word sheet of paper is written. Column 2, dash. Column 3, dash. Column 4, dash. Question B. In the following figures, tick those which have corners. Do these figures have curved lines? Picture below shows seven figures. Figure 1. Half circle shown in sleeping line with curved surface at the top. Figure 2. Half circle shown in standing line position. There is another inner half circle within the outer circle. Figure 3. Rhombus. Figure 4. Triangle with curved sides. Figure 5. Oval. Figure 6. Looks like three stairs. Figure 7. Ring. Question C. Using only straight lines, can you draw a figure which has no corners? Page 66. Tangram. The tangram is an old Chinese puzzle. From the pieces of the tangram, we can make many shapes of animals, people and things. At the back of the book, you will find a square like the one in this figure. Cut it out carefully and cut the pieces. The set of five pieces is called five-piece tangram. The picture at the right side shows a square cut into five pieces. Piece 1 is a triangle having left side of the square. Piece 2 is a triangle with half top side of the square. Piece 3 is a square with half top side and top half right side of the outer bigger square. Piece 4 is a parallelogram with its top small side equal to the side of square of piece 3 and bottom small side has bottom half of square. Piece 5 is a triangle. One side of triangle is equal to long side of parallelogram and second side has bottom half right side of square and third side has bottom half side of square. Question. Use these five pieces to make the following figure. Figure 1. Three triangles of different sizes placed side by side in sleeping line in increasing order of size. Figure 2. Has two triangles and one square. The right side of the base of top triangle is connected with the top side of square. The bottom side of the square is connected to the left side of the base of bottom triangle. The bottom triangle is pointed downwards. Figure 3 is parallelogram. Figure 4 has two triangles, one square and one parallelogram. One triangle is at top. A square is connected to right side of the base of this triangle. 
triangle 2 is starting from the base of the square. The parallelogram is at the right side of triangle 2. Figure 5 is made of three triangles, one square and one parallelogram. One triangle is attached to square from its left side and rectangle is attached to square's bottom. The remaining two triangles at the base of the parallelogram. Page 67 Question 1. How many triangles do you have in your set? Are all of them equal in size? Find out. Question 2. Use the two small triangles in the tangram set to get the following shapes. Shape 1. Square Shape 2. Triangle Shape 3. Parallelogram Question 3. Which two pieces of the tangram set are exactly same? Find out. Question 4. Take pieces 4 and 5 from the set and find out on which side of the triangle you can join the other piece. Question 5. Find matching sides among the following pairs of pieces. Part A. Pieces 1 and 2. Part B. Pieces 2 and 4. Part C. Pieces 1 and 5. Part D. Pieces 2 and 5. Note. See figure on page 66. The 7-piece tangram. Here is the picture of a 7-piece tangram. The picture at right side shows a square divided into 7 pieces. Piece 1 is a triangle having top left corner of square. Piece 2 is a parallelogram having half left side of square. Piece 3 is a triangle with base equal to long side of parallelogram of piece 2. Piece 4 is a rhombus with side equal to one side of triangle in piece 3. Piece 5 is a triangle with one side equal to side of rhombus in piece 4. Piece 6 is a triangle with bottom side of square. Piece 7 is a triangle with right side of square. You can cut out these pieces and put them together in different ways to make some very interesting shapes. Page 68 Picture 1 and 2 show a shape of duck and cat by 7 pieces tangram. Question 1 Try making these shapes. Picture 1 Duck Picture 2. Cat in sitting position. Question 2. Now try making the following shapes using only the pieces written here. Part 1. Use only triangles. Picture below shows a hexagon. Part 2. Use pieces 1, 2, 3 and 5. Picture below shows a rectangle. Part 3. Use only two triangles. Picture below shows a square. Part 4. Use pieces 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Picture below shows a square. Chapter 5. Shapes and Designs Part 2 Ends here. Narrator Akash Ahuja Sound recordists Batilang Lingdo and Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in production by Jagbandhu Jana. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. This book is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.